Hey guys, how's it going? A little bit of a different video for you today because I didn't get a chance to record the voiceovers for the next video yet, uh, which left me without a video for this week. So, um, you get a vlog. It's going to be a little bit of a different video because it's not scripted like my usual videos are. You can see the computer's off, so <laughs> I'm not reading anything. But something that my wife suggested that I do is kind of go over garage sale finds. Because a question that I see thrown around a fair bit in the woodworking making community is how expensive tools are. But it doesn't have to be expensive. Like, yes, tools brand new are expensive. My planer I picked up on sale and it was still uh, $700 Canadian. So, yeah. If you buy tools new, they will be expensive. That's a given. Though, everything you see right here, right now on the workbench, here, and down in front of the workbench there, all of this I got at garage sales. So, we'll, I'll kind of go through it so you can see how much it was. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably have a running total in the bottom here to kind of see how much I actually, or to show you guys how much I actually spent versus how much it would have cost me if I was going to buy all of this brand new. First up on the list is my wood lathe. I spent $100 on this. This is all I'm looking for at this time. It does what I need it to do. It was only 100 bucks, and most of that was because of the chisels down here. Next up is my Dremel scroll saw. I spent $15 on this. They literally just wanted to get rid of it, and I happened to be the one that showed up. But $15 for a scroll saw, I think, is a pretty good deal. I haven't had a chance to break it in a whole lot, but it's here when I need it. And for $15, bucks, if I never use it, I, I don't really care. I will happily spend $15 bucks on something I never use versus $1,500, bucks, or $150, bucks, I guess. Next up is my collection of hand planes. Collectively, I spent about $80 on these. 30 for this number 6, 20 for this number 5, another 20 for this number 4, and 10 for this uh, Handyman. Well, I guess these are both Stanley Handyman, and these are Stanleys. Um, oh, this is a Stanley Bailey, actually. I don't know if there's a difference. I, my hand plane knowledge is a little bit low. Next up is the couple ball peen hammers that I picked up. This one I actually was featured in a video not too long ago where I restored the handle or replaced the handle and made a new one. This one I just picked up a little while ago. I think collectively I spent five dollars on these two. Next up, a set of screwdrivers or assorted set of screwdrivers. Works for me. I have a few assorted sizes of Robertson, the square bit, a few different flatheads, and a Phillips. Two bucks. Here is the, another, this is what I bought at the store new, I think it was $30 on sale, regular $100, but it has a lot more different uh, sizes in there, but really, I'm using these more than I use these, because these are handy in my tool, tool bin, and these are in a bag on the shelf, which I'm going for the tool, tool chest a little bit more often than I am this, so... These will be handy if I need to go somewhere, I can just grab them and go. Whereas these are handy in the shop. And yeah, two bucks. I think I spent $30 on this. It's a two inch power planer and unfortunately with this one, I can't seem to find two inch blades anywhere. So this one is a little bit outdated, it isn't the best op or best deal that I've gotten. So, for that, like, I really don't use it all that often. Maybe I should with more rough stuff, but, yeah. 30 bucks for a power planer. Or, I guess if you have, uh, because I did this, if you have a father-in-law that has one, you could borrow it and not give it back for a while, and then he'll forget that he lent it to you, and uh, he'll buy a new one, and then he won't need to, so you get to keep his. That, that's also an option. Hot glue gun. I haven't had to use this a whole lot, but it's here in case I do. A dollar. This one's actually a fairly recent uh, acquisition. I haven't actually used it yet. 
but a set of carving chisels. I guess this was about $60 new and the guy never used them. I was able to pick them up off of them for 20 bucks. So maybe you'll see some carving or something like that coming, coming from my channel in the future. Coping saw. If you haven't seen my last video yet where I was cutting up the dovetail joint, if you haven't seen that video yet, you can check it up, check it out right here. This got some use in there. I think I picked this up for five bucks. Angle finder. I'm not sure why there's a two written on it. Actually, that, yeah, because I picked it up for two bucks, so that makes sense. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not sure how much this is in reality, but two bucks, not a bad deal. Little Porter Cable Trim Router. I think I spent $25 on this. Works just fine. 3 8 Craftsman Drill. Now granted it's corded, but if you don't have a drill, 10 bucks is not a bad price. So I probably wouldn't have bought this, but uh, when I found it I was planning on building DIY Builds um, Pocket Hole Machine. I'll post a link to that below if you haven't seen that. But that was kind of my idea. I, I kind of wanted to do the same thing, and I was going to use this as the, as the power head for it. That, that might be something I still do, I just haven't gotten to it yet. Um, you know, life keeps getting in the way. This one came in the box. Four inch, or four and a half inch angle grinder. This works fine for me. I do have my cordless DeWalt angle grinder, but you know, that one has a trigger switch. This one just has a button that I have to hit, or a toggle. So if I'm doing something for long periods of time, I can just hit the toggle, it's going, and I don't have to actually hold the trigger down the whole time. This cost me eight bucks. And it even came with the instructions and a couple of replacement brushes. So that's about it for small tools that I could fit on the workbench. But, you know, here's the next ones. Little two five-foot pipe clamps. Ten bucks for these two. So this here looks like a job site saw where you just have to bolt a circular saw underneath and it works as a table saw or in my case the really the only thing I picked it up for was this insert to act as a new router table I think the table on this is a bit warped but this one is still fine or this piece is still fine and this is really the only part of, that I wanted this will allow me to build a router table which is something I've been wanting in the shop for a while so this will work for that, as well as the little power box at the back here. Router can plug into that, this plugs into the wall, and then there's a switch right here to run the router. So even if I end up only using this piece, this costs $15, this whole thing. I don't know how much this would be regularly. I don't even. I've never seen something like this before, so I have no idea how much it would be. But yeah, fifteen bucks. I'm happy with that. This has been in my shop for a while. It is a Sears Craftsman shop vac, or wet dry vac. I picked this up at a garage sale. I think I spent ten bucks on this. I don't know how much they are now especially since uh, Sears Craftsman doesn't exist anymore. And I have seen these at garage sales as well, and the pricing has been pretty consistent. I've uh, often been tempted to buy a second one. Not that I need a second one, but, you know, then I would have it. And then, ignore the planer. But the last, last couple things that I, was, that I picked up at the garage sales that I was able to find. There might be more hidden in here somewhere that I forgot about. But I think this is the last couple things. Is these couple collapsible workbench stands. I have three of these. And I think I spent $20 total on all three of these. This one even has a vise in it. Which I did use on several occasions when I didn't have a vise. I do now, but I didn't. So yeah, um, over here... I'm assuming I'll have a total of what I actually spent versus what I would have spent had I bought everything here that I had listed brand new. 
And really, um, like I said earlier, <laughs> you don't need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on tools. Granted, I haven't used the multi, like, I haven't used the saw stop saw, so it might be, <laughs> it might be the cat's ass. But you know what? My table saw that I got for free from the father-in-law works just fine for me. <laughs> so, yeah, you don't have to spend a huge amount in tools. I don't. Most tools I buy, rarely I buy full price. I think the one that I had bought full price was another hammer drill up there, which uh, I needed for a project and I wanted to get it done that day. I probably could have borrowed it from someone, but I wanted it. I wanted that project done that day. It didn't get done that day, but that's neither here nor there. I wanted it done that day, so I went and picked it up. Yeah. Other than that, every other tool in here was picked up on sale or from Kijiji. Or I got, like my 30 gallon air compressor over there, I got for free from my grandparents who were downsizing. Yeah, like there, there's ways to get around having to buy tools at full price. So, um, I hope that was helpful to someone. Um, granted, uh, all my prices are in Canadian, so if you see a price and you're like, Oh, geez, you overpaid on that. Might be because it's Canadian, I might have actually overpaid on stuff, I don't know. I think they're all fairly good deals, so... Depends on your perspective, I guess. But, yeah, with that, thank you guys for watching, and if you like what I'm doing here, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. If you want to see more pictures on current projects that I'm working on, you can follow me on Instagram at John the Shriner. Otherwise, I hope to see you here in the next video, and have a good one.